Hello boys and girls, and we're going, we're going, we're doing my AK today. <laughs> Last video, we showed you this, more of a close up, not exactly as is, I mean not, just the bag of it, not like completely broken down, reviewed of it, it's just a quick overview. I only went over it, not the whole thing though. Alright, so, Jordan, take it away. Alright, well, this is a Kalashnikov AK-47. Most of y'all have heard of Michael T. Kalashnikov. He has made a lot of... For you gun nuts, you haven't. Or for non-gun nuts, you know. As they called it, noobs. We're just going to start from the bottom up, that's all. This is your tactical AK. Most people think... It's just, a t it don't serve no perfect or, perfect or anything. As long as the stock ain't metal, it don't work. The stock right here is actually pretty reliable. I've actually fell on it, and I weigh 210 pounds. Yeah, I know, right? Some of y'all can't look like I know, right? So, it's a folding stock, which actually is pretty good for CQB. You can get but, around the corners pretty good. But it's actually made for... It's made for assault or far range. I know, it's actually made for uh, storage. The folding stock is actually made for storage. Yes. So. So let's talk about it. Everybody knows what AK is. Yeah, an AK. I mean, even non gun that's probably know what it is. Unless you're mm -hmm. two years old or something watching this video. Which I, I don't really. Two year olds probably know what this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a famous gun, really. I actually I mean, know a lot of two year olds that play better than most older people that I play airsoft with. Yeah, like probably. him. No, I'm just playing. He's pretty <laughs> good. Uh, I, he's on my team, Sierra Navarro 5. My team, thank you very much. Our team. There you go. <laughs> Hey, yeah, he's actually the, him, is actually the one that started, yeah, him, is actually the one that started the team, and then we all caught on to it, and we started playing at Insane. I mean, if you live in Tennessee or the Georgia area, maybe Alabama, you live in, you live close to here, you'll be somewhere down in Chattanooga, riding around, and you'll hit net right up next to Insane. I love going there. I play there almost every Friday. Excuse the random Lego stuff is from what I used to mess with before airsoft guns. Yeah, airsoft is a whole lot better than that. I mean, it's just a little hobby I do after. If I get really, really bored. And people think airsoft guns are dangerous and stuff. Unless yeah, you but they're have, not as dangerous as real guns. Unless you have. Uh, okay, Face mask. They are dangerous. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. I I've actually that. gotten holes put in me from, um, there's a little hole right there. That is a hole in my arm from, actually, I think this gun right here. That gun. That's because I was wearing this shirt. Short no. sleeve. Yeah. Don't wear short Idiot. Sleeve. Just playing. I respect him. He respects me. We all share the same. Alright, so, history of the AK. The whole thing, I'm going to go from the bottom. Uh, but real still history is what I'm talking about. Real still history. Yeah, real still. Alright, so. It's actually not full metal, but most of it is metal. The stock history, is. History for the people that plastic. don't know anything about it, AK. Oh, the stock is. Ah, carbon. The lower is carbon, but this is metal. Metal, metal carbon ergonomic grip. Now. After all that, I'm probably going all mixed up. It's a real still fact. The AK uh, has been around for many, 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 many years. 1947. Yes. AK-47, 1947. And then 74 and the AK-74 uh, U, and I think there's an AK-74 without the U on it. Yes. I do believe. You have different types of AKs. You got the yeah, folding stocks. You got your wood stocks. You, <laughs> you got your under stocks that fold, which are pretty cool. I like them. Yeah, I, I don't, don't own one. one. That's actually AK-74. Yes. You. No, not you. you. The EU actually has like a weird... Sorry, I... Whoa. Don't you, have a, don't you have a U? No. It's actually not a U. It's a... Uh, I don't remember what... I don't know what it's a 74, it but not a U. Yeah. Uh, so it's some kind of AK. Let's put it that way. Anyways. Uh, Michael T. Klasnikov actually made the AK... He's an old man. He's actually dead now, I think. Yeah. Dead and old. He was a Russian general? Russian. Yes, he was a general. And some people... And here's the trademarks. If... Most people, people think it looks like an L. 
I think it looked like an L. But when I finally got the gun, it's actually is Michael T. Klasnikov himself. Oh no. It's not engraved, it's just painted on there. And, anyways, some people think it's made by Iraqi. Iraqi is a militia. It's not an actual military, it's a militia. The Russians actually made the AK, the first AK model in uh, 1947, uh, during the Cold War. It, roughly about the exact same time uh, in force were made. Weird thing is, M4 don't have anything to do with the day. Weird. But... M4s are more modern. They are, actually. But the um, AK is more reliable, though. Proven fact. <sighs> yes, it is. Uh, there's actually been times where the barrel has been bent like this, and it still shoots. I'm not kidding. I've actually... Uh, in Iraq, a tank ran over it. The barrel was bent in 90 degree angle. All they did is bang, uh, bang it up. Perf almost perfectly straight and shot perfectly. So, but anyways, uh, Michael actually, uh, most people have known about the MP MP44, not the MP40, which is some machine gun German uh, weapon in World War II. But the MP44 is the assault, the first assault rifle ever made, I do believe. Am I correct? Well, besides yes. the bar, besides yes. the bar, which is AR. yeah, burning automatic rifle. But that's more of a like machine gun. If you think about it, six caliber. Yeah. But uh they took the uh MP forty four well uh Russians did and gave it to Michael T. Klasnikov. To make it better. Yeah, basically. And what do you think he did? He made it better. He made an AK forty seven uh pro first pro yeah, prototype. And it went off during uh Vietnam, I do believe. Or is that Korean War. Korean War? Korean War was before the Vietnam War, so yeah. yeah. Uh, correct me if we're wrong, but yeah, I think that's right. I know a little bit of I know they didn't use them in the Civil War. No. <laughs> Definitely not. And that's like. Roughly, Way back in the day. Yeah, that's roughly 200 years before World War II. But that's when my grandma was born back in the 1970s, or 1870s. So, yeah. She's an old. Anyways, back to the airsoft time. All right. Like the real go over the whole thing, I mean, internals and everything. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna fold the stock. Yes, folding. Ninety degree, and then you got your closed all the way to zero degree. About that. That's one eighty. One eighty. That's one eighty. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. This has been an internally redone gun. Inter externals still the same. Internals are different. Better goes in here. Still got the small top mid connector. Yeah. I don't. I really don't deal with switching wires. That's more of a more professional thing. But I deal with more internalistic stuff. And but I do more externals. Than I do internals because I'm not that good with internals. But it's got a ICS 3000 high torque long barrel inside of it. I mean motor <laughs> barrel. I got confused. Okay. And the bolt actually taking out all that stuff because I've took this gun apart many 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 times like more than oh, seven okay. and the bolt actually doesn't go forward oh, like it coming? should it keeps it wobbles around a lot which I don't know why but I guess it does spring yeah spring tension and everything but it don't really bother me unless I'm like running through like I'm trying to be really quiet and it and just rattles around makes me just want to like all you had to do is there you go. Here's your pro uh, problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I don't know why. Or, and it's got a okay. rebuilt with Sistema. I know Sistema people might think the more expensive it is, the better it is. But I actually admit, I paid $500 for the whole gun with all the internals and stuff. And I've actually been beat by people with $10 guns and actually been beat. And I take my... Internally upgraded to $10 guns. I'm not even kidding. I've seen them. Yes. It, there's a guy named Taz that uh, plays our local... Airsoft games, he's your shaky. No. Anyways, uh, he actually took a, I believe, a hundred dollar gun and modded, make it to about a thousand dollar gun. It happens. It happens all the time. I mean, this gun came out to a hundred dollars, uh, two hundred, and I made it to a five hundred dollars. And Sistema is actually a pretty good person. Is like top of the line, but I actually have seen some of their guns break. Yes, break. Like, the gears would be stripped and stuff. 
And just because you have a metal gearbox or metal gears does not mean that your gun is LiPo ready. Yeah, don't try that. And when I first got this gun, I thought it was and because it I used to be a noob. But now it. I'm a, I'm actually an experienced player. If you really think about it, no gun is LiPo ready. No, no gun. Every gun has a breaking point. Every gun. I'm try putting a very powerful LiPo. A gun that has been used with a LiPo. Yeah, I've used like mm -hmm. I've used my M4A1 with a LiPo battery more than three games and with a 14.8. And but I don't use it in a long burst because I know my gun will eventually break and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So if you're gonna get LiPo, at least do your research and look up look at your piston. But usually your piston, even though you have metal gears, a very strong LiPo. I've seen a A, a and Camo start up internally upgraded for with a full metal internals everything strip its gears I've actually seen some people actually convert I've actually done it myself too me and my brother have converted from a car battery and put it into the to my connector and it actually work and from a, a, uh, a car battery fully charged new brand new paid a hundred and two hundred dollars to hundred eighty to two hundred dollars for it and it still work but the rate of fire was outrageous. Now the rate of fire does not mean the more hits you're going to get. An experienced player will be able to get any more hits without the rate of fire. Yeah. I just had to do that. But anyways, uh, miniguns actually use a car battery. Yeah, a lot of guns do. I'm not kidding. A minigun uses a car battery. If you've ever seen a... Uh, there's, Scot uh, there's some Scottish guy that plays in a Scottish field that has a minigun. You, you talking about Scott the Doggy? Maybe. I'm not sure. But Hit yeah. him up sometimes. Scott the Doggy, they got some pretty good war videos. But there's a guy walking around, to him. There's a guy walking around with a minigun, backpack in his back, wires coming all over the other backpack. He opens the backpack up, he has the uh, thing that holds all the BBs. He has actually a feeder going from the backpack to the mini uh, gun, fitting BBs in. That's about another two hundred dollar value right there. Yeah. And inside the backpack, he had a car battery wired to the minigun from where it's powered by. But don't try that with any typical gun. Don't, yeah, don't do don't, that. I wouldn't try it with a electric, other electric gun. <laughs> if you want to do it with a Panther uh, stock right here, I showed you in the last video. Panther stock. Do it. Go ahead. I mean, it's only a, maybe a pitch dollar gun. Yeah. Just an experiment. I put a non stick in it and ripped it, uh, ripped, just done something to it, and it don't, it don't fire anymore. Like the motor's destroyed now. But in respect to the AK. Yeah, we got a little bit off topic there, but who cares? I mean, all for fun, it's all part of the game, ain't it? So, the AK, basic AK. You got your polymer lower. You got your upper, which is what? We need to hurry up. Darn. We got your gun, barrel, metal. It's not cast, it's actually magnetic, so it's steel. Pot metal. Pot. It's not pot metal. No, it's a steel. You can actually, if it cracks, weld it back together. So is yeah, this, but this metal. this breaks right here, not this. This which is connected from this is metal. This is not. If that breaks, you you're just screwed. Then you'll have to get a new lower receiver. Then I've actually seen where you put electrical tape from where it broke. Yes, I've actually dropped this thing off my washing machine, which stands about maybe three and a half feet tall, maybe four. About yeah, it's about this tall. Stands about that tall, and it actually fell off there and broke this, but it had nothing to do with the lower. But that's pretty good whenever you drop it off a washing machine. And it still fires. Yeah, and it still fires flawlessly. I've, I haven't gotten shot by it. Actually, yeah, I have. I've gotten shot by it from at least 150 feet away. It's a good gun. Yeah, it is. Alright, guys, so this is the AK Kalashnikov. Try it out sometime. Uh, from Academy. From Academy. Uh, upgraded. You can, get, you can get them at Dick's Sporting Goods, too. This is Long Coyote. This is Wolf. Sign off from Sierra Navarro. Please rate, rate, subscribe, and comment. See you guys.